Singapore will invest $90 million to upgrade a biosafety lab to guard against future pandemics and biological attacks. The lab will be able to handle viruses in the highest risk group as part of the Defence Ministry's enhanced capabilities, along with new digital tech to keep Singapore safe. Alif Amsha with this report. This Biosafety Level Lab, or BSL-3 lab, can handle viruses like SARS and COVID-19. When the new BSL-4 lab is ready, it will be able to assess and develop countermeasures against more severe forms of viruses. In Asia, there are BSL-4 labs in countries like China, Japan and Korea. But there are none currently in Southeast Asia. BSL-4 labs will require more stringent levels of air separation and must have the ability to quickly shut down and isolate the facility when needed. It goes without saying that safety is paramount and DSO will work with MOH to ensure that we will have the highest standards of protection required for BSL-4 labs. We will bring in third-party and overseas experts to advise us on the entire process, beginning from design to construction and thereafter to validate the systems periodically. Viruses are classified into risk groups based on how contagious and deadly they are. Those with the highest risk fall under risk group 4 and includes Ebola and smallpox. The upgraded lab is expected to be operational by end 2025. The Defence Ministry is harnessing new tech to enhance its capabilities. It's leveraging on cloud computing. A commercial cloud will be rolled out from mid-2021 to host less sensitive digital services and data. For classified information and workloads, there will be a separate dedicated cloud. MINDEF has also recently established a digital factory. What is a digital factory? It allows our people, product developers and designers to come together under one roof to collaborate on designing, testing and scaling secure digital solutions. And as a result, we've been able to build and deploy software three times, three times faster than before. Dr. Ng announced that the Defence Ministry's budget will see a double-digit growth year-on-year. Year. That's because it spent 10% less than planned last year. He added that big-ticket items like the delivery of invincible-class submarines are expected in mid-2022, six months late.